Hi guys and welcome back to Drinking in Space. Uh, today I thought I'd give you a bit of a heads up on what's coming up over the next few weeks. Um, I have a Pikachu EX box, a Victini Mythical Collection box, I've got some fantastic uh, Japanese card openings coming um, as well as hope and hopefully I'll have some new videos for the uh, Game Night Fridays although at the moment they've stalled because uh, I haven't really got that many games apparently that Xbox will let me record so fix it guys at Xbox fix it so we've got today this lovely little promo pack of free evolutions Japanese boosters which is the uh, the latest set to be released in Japan as part of the 20th anniversary, I don't know if you can see. It's the CP6 set, 20th anniversary. And this set itself has various cards in it, but mainly it's a reprint set of the very, very first Pokemon base set. And that's the one with the with the Charizard, the Blastoise, the, that little the chubby Pikachu, that sort of thing. Um, I did. I have already opened one of these off camera just to see what I could expect and sort of things like that with my brother, and um, I figured I found out that there's quite a few secret rares in this of reprints from championship cards and things like that. So hopefully we can get some cool pulls in these three. Um, the promos. I have to just lift the camera up. <coughs> is a surfing Pikachu reprint from one of the most popular promos, and a Mega Slowbro EX. Uh, you won't be able to see behind it, but there's also a Slowbro EX behind there as well, as well as a Mega Slowbro Spirit Link. Uh, they're all they're all promotional cards, and if you can see the XYP number there, two six four. I think that one's two six three. So yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, so we'll be opening them shortly. There is a thing uh, yeah on the bottom here. Okay guys, so here's the promo cards up close. Surfing Pikachu. I think that says level 33. No, level 13, sorry. And the Slowbro Spirit Link. And then there is a Mega a Mega Slowbro EX. And a Slowbro EX. I think they look quite nice. Unusual choice of Pokemon for a Mega. I'm not entirely sure that this is the the most uh, artistic way <laughs> of showing a Mega Slowbro. I mean, I don't know if that was they just got bored and accidentally did it or what, but it seems a little bit stupid if you ask me. But hey, uh, anyway, these these two put them to the side with the f other two promos, and then we have here free boost packs from. There are 10 cards in here, one of which is definitely a hollow. Um, anyway, let's go ahead with these. I'll start from front to back and we'll see what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to have to go and get some scissors because these are ridiculous to open. Okay, so I have some scissors. Let's get these open. The two cards, obviously, that I would love to pull are definitely the Charizard, the base set Charizard, and the Mewtwo. I know the Mewtwo is going to get its own theme deck, but I'd rather not. I'd rather not wait. I'd rather just get a uh, an awesome Charizard and Mewtwo now. I think it's four from the back, but I'm not entirely sure. So this first pack, let's just see where we are. Okay, so straight away you go straight into the nostalgia of a base set Porygon. So we've got a Porygon. A Machop, a Ponyta, a Coffin. Now I did notice the experts out there will know that the Coffin in the original set was a Grass type and not a Psychic type. So they have tweaked these, I think, to update them with new tournament rules. So they've got better HP, better attacks or some such. If I could read Japanese I could probably tell you for sure, but I know there's obviously makes it better I assume by putting it as a psychic and this might be the holo card right now let's have a look ready ah oh, no it's a polywag I get so excited because I don't know which card it is it must be this one then uh, okay so we've got a electabuzz and then a polyrath okay so I've already got one of these but it's still pretty cool it's exactly like it was only again with a bit more HP I think one behind it is a Brock, uh, and then we have a Dugong, 
and a dug tree at the end. Now okay, so that's the first one down. The second one. Let's try that trick. One, two, three from the back. Hope I don't just spoil this for myself. Now there is a Nidorino. Another one they've changed the colour of grass to psychic. Or at least poison, I suppose. Professor Oak. Far fetched. Male Nidoran. Be pretty cool if we got the Nido King in this set. Sandshrew. Tangela. Growlithe. Weedle. And then a Voltorb. And then I do believe this is the last card, and that is a Zapdos. Oh wow, okay, that's pretty cool. I remember this getting this in the very first starter set back in like 1996 or 7 or whatever it was it came out. But there it is. And wow, that's a really powerful attack. 170. I do not remember it being that powerful before. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. I haven't got the Zapdos yet, so that's really cool. So that's a cool one there. I'm just going to put it in the background there, the Polyrath. And then we'll move on to the third and final set. Hope that this one isn't a... no? Oh! Okay. Well, okay, well we've got Machamp, uh, which was the other one I got the other day, so it's two Machamps I've got now, but... I only did three cards. So... Does that mean we've got something else, or... Does that mean it changes? All the others were were only free cards. That's really confusing. Okay, well, there we are. I'm a champ, so I'll put that over at the back there. Uh, switch, trainer card, an electrode, a diglet, a magikarp, a ghastly, an onyx, a ratata. Now there's an old rubbish card. A Charmander. And the last card... Oh, okay. I think we figured out this one, guys. Three cards, and you only get a hollow. Four cards, and you get whatever this is behind this card. Wow, okay. A Mega Blastoise EX, which I'm pretty sure is a reprint from the XY base set, but I really don't care, because this is so cool right now. Bit of a up close. Hydro, Bombard. 22 out of 87, so that's really cool. So we've got Polyrath, Zapdos, Machamp, all hollow reprints from the base set, and an XY base set reprint of a Blastoise, Mega Blastoise CX. So that's really cool. And to be honest with you, I do love these. Are, Really nostalgic, to be fair, because I do love these cards. I mean, look at how old and weird Charmander looks there with the overbite that he has. Or the Rattatar with that massive teeth. They, they just... There was something about all these art styles that was just so much cooler than some of the stuff that's coming out now. I mean, that Magic Cup, you can tell it's been hand-drawn. At least in the original artwork that was used for this, so that's really cool. Um... Now, it doesn't stop there, because over the next few weeks, depending on how my videos work out, I do also have some more of these to open. Now, when I ordered these, I ordered two of these packs that I've just opened, one of which I've obviously just opened here, and the other one I opened the other day. Um, but I also ordered two of these. Now, these are booster boxes of these, of these packs. I'm not quite lucky enough to have drawn the Charizard yet, but I've got 30 packs here. There's 15 packs of 10 cards in each box. That's 300 cards, but I've got 30 chances to hit that Mewtwo and the Charizard. And I assume that all of the hollows from the base set are in here as well. So the Nine Towers, the Gyarados, the Blastoise, the Venusaur. I would love to get the full lot, and I do really want to complete this set. But if I don't, I really want the Charizard. And I'll be honest with you, I really want the Nido King as well. The, the Charizard, the Nido King, and the Mewtwo are my are my musts. All the others are just kind of bonuses along the way. So we have a wonderful little action to start here, and I'm 
I'm really excited. I will just want to open them now to show everyone. But I won't be. They'll be coming one per video over the next few weeks. Uh, I've also got, like I said, the Victini box, the Pikachu EX box, plus any other cards I pick up along the way. I might have another box coming through the post at some point because I've got to order some more sleeves. So I might have that coming as well. So if you enjoyed this video uh, and you like the nostalgia, I've got more of these coming, like I said, so please do subscribe so you get the videos straight away. Uh, like the video if you liked it. If not, sorry, I suppose. I'll try better next time. Um, yeah. But until that next time, goodbye.